Hello everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I am going to show you how you can do these awesome baggies. So this is officially going to be our first sewing video. And I will show you how to make a really cool purse or maybe a pencil case or whatever you want to use it for. So I hope you guys are excited. I also have regarding the sewing um, a question. So is it better if we do more of such videos on this channel or do you think that a new channel just for sewing would be better? So I would love to hear your feedback guys and know what to do. So feel free to comment below to let us know what you would like. And for the little baggies or purses, stay tuned. Today I will show you how you can make a little baggie for your makeup, for example, as a pencil case or whatever you actually want to use it for. The shape, the color and the pattern is up to you. You can use whatever. So I did two different ones that you can see um, how much you can actually customize and how much it's really up to you what the result is going to be. So let's put these by side and take our fabric. I recommend using two kinds, the inside and one for the outside. I'm choosing one colored fabric for the inside and this flowered pattern for the outside. You will need about 50 times 50 centimeter pieces, of course, depending on your size and a piece of paper. So let's first fold in half. And then see if this size fits what you had in mind. So once folded is the size that I will be choosing. You can also think about the shape. Do you want rougher edges like a rectangle or a square or do you want it a bit rounder? So let's fold one more time and simply draw the shape that you want. So in my case I'm making something that's a bit narrower on the top. And when you do that, you can also cut it out. So when you open this up, you have your bag shape. If you like the way it looks, you can continue with the next step, which is to fold it together again and take a measure. Try to mark around 3 centimeters away from the edge and on the top as well. That way you get a little square. And then make a little square out of it, so 3 times 3 centimeters. Make sure it's all well aligned and cut the square out. Now you can open it up the whole way and this is the pattern that can help you to cut your fabric. As mentioned, I took one patterned fabric for the outside and one in just dark blue for the inside. So you can choose whatever you have around or whatever you like, but I will use this for the outside and this one for the inside of my bag. And now let's start with the blue fabric. Use your pattern and you can put little pins through to make sure it stays in place. Also make sure that you don't have any wrinkles under the paper. And now that this is done, you can take a fabric pencil or a regular pencil, some chalk or whatever you have and mark about 2 centimeters more than the pattern itself all around. Before you cut this out, think about whether you want such 
a let's say lid on top of your baggie in which case we will need a bit more fabric and also now is the time to consider the shape of your lid so I think in my case I will do it round again just like I had it here in case um, you want that so just don't forget to mark that as well So the height should be about the same as the height of one half of our sack. So we are now ready to cut. You don't have to be very neat because I will show you later how you can make it even nicer and neater. So cut this piece out, you can keep the paper on here just a bit longer and mark the midlines here. Cut just a bit, out like a little triangle. Here is our first part, so our inside and you can even fold it together to check the shape. If you are satisfied, you can take the next piece of fabric for your outside and align the already cut out piece on top. An important thing to remember are the pins to make sure everything stays in place as we work so that nothing um, slips on accident. And always keep checking that there are no folds underneath your cutout piece. So now that we have this one, you can cut along the line of the blue piece. And again, pay attention that these corners are also there. And remove the pins. And then align pretty side on the pretty side and make sure that the edges are perfectly aligned. Take pins and make um, sure that all stays in place. But here in the middle, leave a little hole so that we can turn it inside out when we are done. And then sew along the edge, but with the hole in the middle, sew a little bit on the left and right. Make sure to go forward and backward a couple of more times where you are stopping for the hole in the middle. Now that you finish this side with the little hole in the middle, you can kind of fold it away from the other piece of fabric. And when you flip over, you get a nice edge with a little hole in the middle. So now this side is up and again align nicely, pretty side on pretty side. Make sure that the little corner that you cut out is exactly at the edge.
take a ruler and measure 3 centimeters, centimeters away and mark other side as well and then take a pin to mark this mark again. And then pin this side and all the way to the part that you just finished. Same on the other side, sew the sides together all the way to the already done side. When you finish that, you have your inside baggie and you do the same with the blue section with our inside, hold where the mark is. Do the 3 centimeter mark on both sides and pin. Sew the both sides together. And then after that, cut off the threads to keep it neat. Now both the inside and outside need to be connected, so find your 3 cm mark or mark it again if you can see it well. And then go down from there and mark again 3 cm to get another little square. And cut it out. And do this on all corners, so 4 total. When you finish your piece, it should look like this. And then when you sew, you take the sides where you cut the corners and put them this way. I will show you on the lighter fabric, maybe it's easier to see. So basically open the corner up and put it together. You can also use pins here to secure it so that it doesn't slip and so that it stays in place for all four corners. Now after we are doing the lid, um, so now again we need to align the outside and the inside pattern and just do the whole way. You have to think now if you want to have a little button or something like that later. In which case, you need to leave a little hole in order to go through with the thread. Now that you did it all, it should look like this. So the inside, the outside is here and the flap that's actually our lid, if we can call it that. So now we need to find the little hole we did at the beginning and just push the whole thing carefully through it. So take your time, don't be too fast because you might rip some of the stitches.
And when you finish that, make sure to pull out all the edges to get a nice shape. And when you finish this, you get the same as before but with the pretty side out. And of course, our sewing isn't as visible as before. And then you see that all the work is hidden on the inside. The last step is to simply push the blue or inside part inside. So that way you actually have nothing sticking out that shouldn't be sticking out and you just get your bag with everything in place. And now you have your done baggy. So this is what it would look like. So this is my shape and I remember that I said this would be round but it's always a bit different than what you imagine, which is great because you always have a little surprise effect. I think this looks very nice now. Also, the little opening that we did on the beginning, so the little hole that we didn't sew through, um, you can leave for now if you want to change something later, and then when you decide um, whether you want your button here as well, um, apart from that, you can um, also do these sides one more time on the inside if your edge isn't smooth and neat as you would like it. But in my case, I am pretty satisfied with how this looks and with the shape in general. So I don't think I'm going to change it in any way. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And all I need to do now is actually finish this little hole here and for that I will as before align the sides and try to have as little thread sticking out later as possible. Feel free to use pins as help. And then take a needle and simply do it by hand. So if you have different colors, um, you can choose your thread according to what you want. But I always use transparent thread so that it's not visible at all. And when you finish it, you can take the pins out. And I begin by simply going through and then hiding the knot kind of under the thread itself. So all that we have left then is a bit of thread, which in my case is transparent, so it might be the reason why you can't see it well in the video. Um, but yeah, you can work it in as you work to hide it, and that way you have nothing sticking out later and not being neat. And then through here and again do a little knot. And when you did that, your baggie is done and you can put whatever you need inside. And you can also decorate it some more if you like, um, in any way that you think is pretty. So here is an example how I did the decoration. I just did the same shape as what we did together and I have sewn on the flower line to make it look a bit nicer. And you see how different the shape can be by just having minor alterations. Also um, this one is a bit rougher on the edges with a bit bigger lid or longer. And my decoration idea for this baggie is a pretty blue flower. So something like this. And you also could do something different like a bit of a rubber band here on the end with a button or something so that it stays closed when you want it to. Your buttons can also be funny or pretty. Um, so feel free to find whatever you like or maybe something you already have at home. For example, a yellow apple might be looking good and a button can change the look of the entire bag. So make sure you try out all of your options before you decide 
purchased one. And yeah, this is our little baggie. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comment section, what your shape was like or your colors or if you have some decoration ideas and suggestions. Feel free to shoot a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. You can also subscribe to the channel and that way always stay updated with everything new that we post. And yeah, thanks for watching DIY Ideas. I'll see you in our next video. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye!